Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have discussed about the ad get mapping or we have discussed about the getting a list of records. So in this video, we'll discuss about the ad post mapping or how to save the record to a database. So let's get started. I'll fire up my Eclipse IDE. And first of all, I'm going to stop the server and I'm going to clear the console and I'll go to the controller. And here we have commented this ad post mapping. So I'm going to uncomment this. So what I'll do is I'm going to remove these uh, lines and I'm going to import the post mapping control shift O and uh, so what I'll do is inside this I'm going to make use of this employee DAO and uh, we are interested in method called save okay so to this we will pass the employee object okay so let's save this and I'm going to return this let's save this and I'll go to the controller not controller I'll go to the main class right click run as run as java application or you can press ctrl f11 you can see that the tomcat has been started with the port number 8080 so I'll go to the postman what I'll do is I'm, I'll change this to post and we have still we have a URL like localhost 8080 slash api slash employee but we are making a post request and I'll go to the body and uh, here what I'll do is I'll change this to raw and I'll change this to JSON okay so before that what I'll do is I'll go to the get and I'll take this copy this and let's change this to post go to the body and make sure you have to choose raw and uh, select the JSON or application slash JSON and I'll paste it right here and uh, we have make ID as a primary key so I'm not going to enter ID so but this time I'll change this to Michael and his mail and he is uh, testing and his uh, and he's 1990 so let's click the send button you can see that the response uh, the new record has been created with the ID 15 and the name is Michael and his mail and he's from testing and he was born in 1990 so let's verify in a database I'll fire up the MySQL database and let's run the query again and you can see that the record has been created so this is how we can make a post request and uh, we will make use of the same method okay so we are not again if you go to the DAO we are not writing any kind of code in the DAO interface so in the next video we'll look at the how we can get a single employee record from a database so that's all about this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you are looking for a source code go ahead and check out my github repository and you will find the code